Hello everyone, thank you for joining us at our uh, webinar today uh, titled Optimizing AdWords Campaigns with Google Analytics. My name is Lee Chi Wu, I'm an account manager at Google Singapore and, I hand, and I'm also an uh, analytics guru. So let's go through the agenda today. Uh, we'll talk about several topics. First stop, location targeting, uh, exploring opportunities. Second, we'll talk about placement targeting. And we'll dive into AdWords specific optimizations and then using uh, a feature called event segmentation in Google Analytics. Then we'll talk about ad copy optimization and then we'll go through the summary of reports and we'll briefly talk about importing your GA goals into Google Analytics. Then we'll go through Q&A. So first, um, today we're offering you some suggestions on which uh, would be particularly helpful to uh, for guiding your analysis, uh, analysis, because of uh, because of uh, different businesses have different priorities and models, we're not saying that if you look at the uh, the X report and do Y, then Z will result. But the general idea applies uh, to whatever that your business is on. So first, I want to target the whole world, but I don't have enough money. Many marketers are ambitious, and that's a good thing. They want to target as widely as possible but money doesn't grow on trees. So it has to be spent wisely. And that's where Google Analytics comes in to help you derive from it actionable insights and make smart decisions on online strategies. Um, in this presentation, we'll be using data coming from the Google Store. The store is a great example for this webinar because it has uh, a healthy volume of traffic, has an AdWords campaign running, it is tracking e-commerce, and it's also tracking goals. And just in case you want to wear your love for Google products on your sleeve, be sure to check out the wearable section on the Google Store. And while the Google Store is an e-commerce site, it is designed to drive users to browse, put merchandising, shopping cart, and purchase. It does not mean that you uh, the content of this webinar is limited to such. The idea is applicable to other sites with different purposes. So now, one of the fundamental questions a business owner or marketer should ask is, where do your customers come from? With the help of the map overlay report, that question is easily answered. The map overlay report gives you a breakdown of metrics by country. In this example, it is surprising to see that while United States drives the majority of visits as well as revenue, traffic from Mongolia has in fact the highest per visit value. This is one example of how you can be strate uh, strategic excuse me, and find hidden gems in targeting audience. So my question to you is, what is the country of the highest per visit value of your website? I urge you to find out after the webinar. Now that you know which countries drive the most revenue and which are of higher per visit value, you can zone in and find out regions that represent higher revenue within a country. In the example, you can see that out of the 50 states in the, United, uh, in, in the US, California, New York, and Michigan represent 40% of the, of the account's revenue. So with key countries and regions identified, you will be able to segment customer geographically and align your marketing and advertising efforts with it so that you target as wide and as efficient as possible. So what kind of online and marketing medium works best? Another way to target efficiently is to find out what kind of online advertising medium works best. If revenue is of top concern, the e-commerce tab in most analytics reports help you identify effective sources of, of advertising medium. In the example, Google.com drives the most visits and revenue, but in terms of e-commerce conversion rate, mail.google.com and docs.google.com break out from the crowd. The operator of Google Store can then take this information and adjust product offerings or devise a campaign to target these two medium. And last, if you use Google Analytics to track online campaigns other than 
AdWords, use GA to see the performance of each. With enough data, you may even want to base your budget allocation on the percentage each advertising channel contributes. So to sum up, with higher ROI region, put more budget or resources into that region and find out which medium and campaign work well in the region. Next up, let's talk about location targeting. Um, excuse me, placement targeting. Now, web, uh, no website stands alone on the internet. What makes the internet great is that it's a web of pieces of information interconnecting with each other. So running a website means that you will likely, um, you, will wa you will want it to be discovered and all sites have referral uh, traffic of some sort. The referring sites report under traffic sources is a great way to find out sites relevant to your content and where you can increase visibility to your target audience. It includes sites that are targeted by AdWords campaign as well as others that are not targeted. Now you know what those sites are and you want to placement target them, here's what you do. First, you export them to CSV and then you weed out unwanted sites for whatever reason. Maybe they are not converting or they are not after a manual review, you deem them not relevant. And third, you place them, uh, you paste them into a placement targeting campaign and check if they are available for placement targeting. And last, voila! Off you go with more targeted exposure. Next, let's go through how we can use analytics to optimize AdWords campaigns. So when performing optimizations, aim for ROI, or in other words, return on investment. The return can be revenue, traffic volume, etc. And investment can be money, time, and or others. So the point is that we want to get the most out of what we put in, and that's the basis of optimization, ROI. Now the AdWords report in analytics is where you start optimizing for ROI. To be able to use the click, uh, clicks tab in AdWords report in analytics, the prerequisite is that your Google Analytics account must be linked to your AdWords account and have cost data apply to the profile that you look at. Um, the resource section at the end of the webinar contains where you can find out how to go about doing this. So once you have done that, the clicks tab shows the ROI column by which you can see which AdWords campaign rakes in positive ROI and which doesn't. Looking at this example, the Google Store English Americas campaign is doing relatively well. But can we optimize further? Yes, you bet we can. But how? We'll show you how now. First step, we need data to base our strategy on. So let's go back to AdWords and look at the AdWords reports. So what you want to do is create either a campaign or account performance report for the campaign to be optimized. And then you want to add impression share metrics to it. So you check impression share, IS, and uh, loss impression share by rank loss impression share by budget and generate the report. So it turns out that the campaign with the highest ROI is not getting as much impressions as it should have, only 21%. And just to explain, loss impression share by rank uh, is it's so because uh, it's due to bit and quality score and loss impression share by budget is as it's just suggested it's because it's constrained by daily budget so with these two actionable insights now we know if we raise the bits and or improve the quality score we'll recover impression share lost by rank and with budget increase or reallocation we'll gain more share of voice so more impression means more exposure which leads to more clicks and with more click more share of clicks will reap more conversions. So in summary, you want to increase impression share on high ROI campaign by either increased budget or increase CPC for improved rank. 
basically the idea is that if you see a positive ROI, you increase the resources on that. And when you see a negative ROI, you decrease the resources on that. But you ask, what if I have limited budget? That's okay. We want to point the source of revenue and optimize further. How do we do that? Let's drill down to ad group level. So let's look past campaign and focus on ad groups by choosing ad group instead of campaign as dimension. As you see, you can, you can see in the uh, red box right here. So again, let's start with the ad groups with good ROI. So this time, we know that Google Tees sell very well. How can we get more profits? How about selling them at the best time? How? Let's find out when customers are converting. Using the conversion rate report on the e-commerce and view data by hours, as uh, the graph shown here. We can see that when are users converting? Obviously, less people buy at midnight. And it also looks like people love to shop for t-shirts after lunch at 1 p.m. Probably because sitting back down at the desk, they realized that t-shirts that they were wearing are too small because of the lunch they had. But jokes aside, this is valuable information because you know what time of the day is best to reach out to potential customers. Using AdWords scheduling or day potting, as the TV industry calls it, you can limit ad exposure to certain hours to cope with limited budget. Basically, spend time when it's the right when it's the right time. And in addition to converting hours, we can also go further to improve ROI by looking at landing page issues. First, let's look at bounce rates. A bounce is a visit with only one page view. In other words, the user didn't bother going further and leave at where he landed. High bounce rate is bad news if the site is e-commerce driven. So use bounce rate to find out which landing pages can be improved and retain users on the website. Or if the purpose of the website is to have users stay longer, you want to sort by average time on site. Short average time on site usually means that user doesn't like what they see in the website. As a result, they don't convert. Look at these pages with short average time on site and optimize or improve this page. So to recap, you want to increase share of voice on profitable campaign. Focus on the ad groups with good ROI. Use day parting to increase impression share and or coverage at the most converting time. And you also want to improve on pages with high bounce rates. And then revisit the pages with low time on site. So do we stop here? No, let's dig deeper. We have looked at campaign and ad group level analysis. We can dig even deeper into keywords. Same idea. Take actions on keywords according to RI. For example, you can expand on keywords with positive ROI or, e or move it into a new campaign with a dedicated budget to make sure they never run out of steam. Or you can increase the bids which generally translates into higher ad rank that have better conversion rate. You can also base your analysis on goal conversion rate. See which keywords convert better than others. Or you can see keywords result in bounced traffic. Again, what is a bounce? It is a visit that has only one page view. So the implica uh, implication is how relevant are these keywords to your site. Keyword report positions report is another helpful resource for optimization. Find out which ad position resulted in the most conversions. So I'm with that information you can use position preferences in AdWords to show ads only in a certain range of positions. So to summarize, the keyword level strategies are expand on keywords that are giving good ROI. You want to bid aggressively for keywords that are giving you a good ROI and bid smartly 
for most converting positions. So consumer behavior is on, always on the top of mind for marketers because that's the basis of marketing strategy. So while Google Analytics doesn't tell you whether a female customers uh, a female customer like to shop lying on the grass, it does tell you products customers like how many visits before they purchase information such as those. And that's what advanced segmentation can help you with. Um, this is when you try to create an uh, advanced, uh, when you have advanced segments created. Uh, in this example, this one created for the uh, for U.S. visitors that come from paid campaigns, and you can reply these advanced segments to a lot of uh, reports that you are viewing. You don't have to jump between reports, but you can segment them. So this is what a report will look like. What products do they like? and how many products do they buy per transaction and what are the uh, average values and you can find lots of valuable in insights about your customers by using advanced segmentation what do they purchase after they see the products when, I'm sorry when do they purchase after they see the products how many visits does it take before they buy and what time of day do they purchase as we mentioned before so here are some examples of action points that you can use with advanced segmentation. Create campaigns tailored for this set of customers using day parting at the time that they convert. Create campaigns with dedicated budgets for popular products. Offer special discounts or free shipping or gifts for products that are not so popular. And make sure that you don't lose them after their first visit. So should be, your site should be user friendly and easy to navigate. So next up, let's look at ad copy optimization. Um, looking at this report, um, still under traffic sources and AdWords. Let's click on ad variations. So you can use the search bar at the bottom to look for, to look for specific headlines if you want, instead of uh, combing through the pages of results. So, but unfortunately, you can only see headlines but not the description lines 1 and 2. But however, this report works for AB and ABA testing. And also, if, if you are using uh, auto-tagging, create two different versions of your ad. Make sure that each version has a different headline. Auto-tagging, what it does is that when it would automatically allow you to compare conversion metrics for each version of the ad in the ad versions report. And for each keyword, you can drill down and compare the performance of each version of the ad because each ad will be differentiated by a unique headline. This report is also helpful in determining whether or not keyword insertion is working for or against you, or if it's more wor uh, worthwhile to just go ahead and do more specific and more gener uh, general static headlines. You can also segment by keyword and compare the two reports. In this case, you can see the number one revenue generating keyword is Google Store, which correlates with the number one gener uh, revenue generating ad version official Google Store. It's a good idea to look at the keyword breakdowns and see which ad text was the most effective. You can also view headlines with keyword insertion. The keyword inserted in the ad text is the keyword that was inserted, not the default ad text here. From this report, um, we can segment it to look at the landing pages. Depending on what your goals are, uh, you might want to look at a different report. For example, if you're interested in branding, you might want to look at site usage. If it's conversions, look at goal conversions report. And if it's revenue, look at the e-commerce tab. Ads with high uh, click-through rates show that the copy is effective at getting users to click. With high bounce rates, for example, indicate a need for landing pages that are consistent with what the ad promises. Um, one simple way that you can use the ad ver ver uh, versions report, excuse me, especially for accounts where you don't 
we haven't had an, uh, the opportunity to test to find which description line 1 and 2 are effective is by aligning the call to action phrase in your ad text suggestions with the goals in the account. Here are two examples of ad text. One that aligns with the goals and one that doesn't. We want to be sure we are telling users to take the valued action. You can also view what the goals are by going to Goals, then Overview. So in summary, you want to identify revenue source for your business and then optimize ROI by de digging deeper, put resources on positive ROI, reduce resources on negative ROI, and then use event segment to know more about your customer. So uh, this is the list of uh, uh, useful reports for optimizations. Map overlay report. Find out which countries or regions are most valuable to you in terms of revenue or conversions, etc. Referring sites report. Find out which sites are bringing you valuable traffic and decide if you want to allocate more budget on those sites. Edwards campaign report. Get more information on how effective your AdWords campaigns are and to find out your ROI. Keywords Positions Report Find out what are the best ad positions for your AdWords campaign. Ad Versions Report Find out and optimize your ad copies. E-commerce Report Get detailed information on your e-commerce transactions, conversion rate, value per visit, etc and use advanced segment and report to get more detailed information about your customers. So let's, let's talk about importing Google Analytics goals into AdWords. So this is a new feature that we just rolled out not too long ago. Um, in Google Analytics, a goal is a page viewed by the visitor once they have completed a desired action. So every website should have a goal. Um, and then how do you answer that question? Uh, you, you, know, you ask yourself, what are my business objectives? Why do I have a website? So what are you know, some examples of uh, website goals? They are the uh, thank you pages you know, for purchases. You, know, you show the confirmation page to thank the customer after they have made a purchase. Or you use software download. Or you want, simply want people to sign up an account uh, for your web service. So what do goals in reports look like? Um, each, each time that a visitor sees your page you define as a goal, a conversion is recorded. So as you can see here in this, uh, this example, you can see the total conversions and conversion rates for each of the goals in your report. So what are the benefits that you can, once you re uh, import your Google Analytics goals into AdWords, you can correlate your GA data such as goals, transactions, and page views with your AdWords ad clicks. And with both Google Analytics data, goals, and transactions, and AdWords conversion tracking data available for, cons for consideration, AdWords conversion optimizer will be able to automate your keyword bidding even more accurately. So what are the prerequisites if you want to import your GA goals into your AdWords account? Here are the things that you have to do. Link your accounts. So link your Google Analytics account and AdWords accounts together and then create at least one analytics goal or to track a, uh, a list on Google Analytics transaction. And then you want to enable data sharing in Google Analytics by completing the following steps. Basically, you know, I will, I'm not going to read through them, but uh, after the webinar, you can uh, follow through uh, the steps. Once you have done all that, um, you go back to AdWords and then navigate to the conversion tracking page from within your AdWords account. Then you click on link your analytics goals and transactions from the conversion tracking table. Select the goals and or transactions you want, you want from the list and you might want to edit the name um, so you can, you know, they're better, they better reflect of, of your, what you're trying to do with your AdWords account. And then at the end, you click link from the bottom of the table to finish. 
So here are some uh, resources about Google Analytics. If you want to keep up to date, if you're in this region, you should definitely check out Solutions for Southeast Asia. Um, it's a blog maintained by our customer um, solution engineer, Vinny. Um, we have upcoming events in Google Singapore that are relevant to the whole region and a lot of uh, useful information, especially about Google Analytics. And you should also check out the, uh, the official Google Analytics blog. And uh, if you're you know, uh, really uh, a fan of Google Analytics and you want to show the whole world, um, you should t consider taking the Google Analytics individual qualification. Um, it's freely accessible. We have freely accessible training, materi uh, training materials. And if you're interested to get started, visit conversionuniversity.com. And also we have a help center to help you uh, answer most of the questions that you have. And also on YouTube's, uh, on YouTube we have um, a lot of resources. Um, here are some examples such as how, you know, we, we talked about how to optimize, how you want to optimize um, your landing pages. And this is one video that you should definitely check out. And we have one dedicated channel for Google Analytics on YouTube. And here's another example of how you can op optimize AdWords campaigns. And then also if you want to find out more about importing goals into AdWords, this is the link that you should um, take a look. And that is all. Thank you for your time and I hope this is useful to you. Thank you.